All right. So, uh, in the last lecture, we have talked about in last lecture we have talked about the Griffiths experiment, and I want you to understand Griffiths experiment very clearly before getting into this Avery, MacLeod, and McCart experiment. Because once you have Griffiths experiment cleared, then only you will move to this part. Uh, of the Avery, MacLeod, McCarty because Avery, MacLeod, McCarty extended the idea of Griffith's experiment. In Griffith's experiment, Griffith tried to find out which kind of bacteria strain, whether R strain or S strain, capable of causing pneumonia in mice. And he found out very interesting result in his experiment. He did this simple experiment, I am revising it a little bit short, otherwise I would recommend you to watch this video, it is there in my channel. Watch that before understanding this Avery MacLeod McCarty. What he did is that live S strain, living S strain bacteria, once injected to the mice, mice is dead. Okay, The R bacteria once transferred directly to the uh, mice, mice survived. Heat killed S. Heat killed S strain of bacteria once transferred to the mice, mice survived. But when the heat killed S plus the living R, both are together transferred to the mice, the mice is dead. Individually, the heat killed S once transferred to the mice, mice survived. Individually, when living R strain bacteria is transferred to the mice, mice also survived. But when both of them together transferred to the mice, mice is dead. That this third result baffled everyone. It stated that this heat killed S, although it is killed, it is itself is not capable of showing the virulence. It is itself not capable of killing the mice, but it has something in it which is delivered, which is accepted by the living R strain, integrated by the living R strain and the living R strain is transformed from non-virulent category to virulent category and when it is transformed to a virulent category it is now capable of killing the mice right but what was that thing which is transferred from the s to the r strain of bacteria this question is answered by avery macleod and mccarty avery macleod and mccarty extended the idea of frederick griffith this part is established that there is something that is delivered by the heat killed S strain of the bacteria to the R strain. Kuch to aisa tha jo S strain, heat killed S strain of bacteria se R strain bacteria mein transfer hua. Jab R strain bacteria us cheez ko, wo kuch bhi ho sakta, wo DNA ho sakta hai, protein ho sakta hai, RNA ho sakta hai. Tino macro molecule mein se koi bhi ek ho sakta hai, jo ke heat killed S se R mein transfer hua. और जिसको ट्रांसफर होने के बाद जो आर स्ट्रेन नॉन विरुलेंट टाइप था वो विरुलेंट टाइप बन गया सो दैट्स व्हाट दे वांट टू फिगर आउट ये फिगर आउट करने के लिए एवरी मैकलियोड एंड मैकार्टी ने एक्सपेरिमेंट कंडक्ट किया नाउ हाउ डू दे फिगर आउट व्हिच कैटेगरी हाउ डू दे फिगर आउट व्हिच कैटेगरी सो लेट मी राइट एवरी मैकलियोड मैकार्टी एक्सपेरिमेंट ओके एंड इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट दे वांटेड टू फिगर आउट वेदर द फैक्टर the factor, let me say, the factor that was present, that was actually transferred from heat killed S strain to the R strain. What was the factor? And there were question marks for that. It can be DNA, it can be RNA, or it can be protein. What it can be? RNA, DNA, or protein. They need to figure it out. Yehi pata karna tha. So, what is the appropriate way to figure this out? So, they need to start with the experiment which is left by Griffith. And Griffith left with this third stage of experiment and that was with the heat killed S with the living R. Heat killed form of S and living form of R injected as per Griffith the mice. What happened to the mice? death right this was the experiment done by griffith now avery macleod and mccarty what they did is that they take this heat killed strain and they make an extract 
cell extract of the heat kill death strain of bacteria. And in this extract, we obviously have DNA, we have RNA and we have protein, DRP, DNA, RNA, protein. We have everything in this extract. And now what they did is basically they divide this extract of DRP. Remember, let me write it down. So there are three situations here again will be performed. In the first situation, what we have, we have DNA, RNA and protein extract. All, all these cases, we have DNA, RNA and protein extract. Okay. They extract it out. The heat kill a strain, they, they uh, centrifuge it and get the extracts out. They get the proteins, DNA and RNA separated. They have all these things, I mean, separated from the bacterial cell components and they have this extract in the, in the tube. And they put this extract in three separate experiment tubes. And in those three separate tubes, they are going to put something to get rid of one particular component at a time. So in the very first tube, they put protease. Okay. In the other one, it put RNAs. And the last one, it puts DNAs. Okay. So, protease, RNAs and DNAs. Protease destroy protein, RNAs destroy RNA and DNAs can destroy DNA. DNAs means basically endonuclease, exonucleases. So, this is what as an experimental setup done by Avery, MacLeod and McCarty. And they wanted to see if they inject this extract along with the R strain, along with the living R strain, then what will be the result? Because obviously this is a cell extract. A cell extract is not capable of showing virulence. Even though there are genetic material in it, whether it can be protein, DNA or RNA, whatever it is, it is not capable of killing mice. That was pre-established by Griffith. That was the first thing Griffith ne, ki sirf aur sirf is hit kill death strain agar de do, तो माइस नहीं मरता है क्योंकि उसमें विरुलेंस नहीं रहता है विरुलेंस तभी आता है जब एक सेल के अंदर प्रोटीन डीएनए आरएनए ये सारे कंपोनेंट एक साथ हो तभी विरुलेंस शो करता है अदरवाइज विरुलेंस नहीं शो करता तो यहां पे यही चीज है कि तीनों अलग-अलग चेंबर्स लिया गया हर एक में ही ये डीआरपी डीएनए आरएनए एंड प्रोटीन हो तो मौजूद है जो जो के कहां से एक्सट्रैक्ट किया है इसको एक्सट्रैक्ट किया गया है हीट किल्ड एस स्ट्रेन से इसको एक्सट्रैक्ट किया गया है ठीक है उस एक्सट्रैक्ट के साथ एक चेंबर में प्रोटीएस डाला गया डीआरपी के साथ डीएनए वो एक्सट्रैक्ट के साथ और एक चेंबर में आरएनएस डाला गया एक चेंबर में डीएनएस डाला गया और उसके साथ हर एक चेंबर में लिविंग लिविंग आर स्ट्रेन जो नॉन विरुलेंट है उसको डाल दिया गया अब लिविंग नॉन विरुलेंट आर स्ट्रेन कैन एक कैन गैदर दिस एक्सट्रैक्ट राइट इफ देयर आर डीएनए प्रोटीन आरएनए फ्रैगमेंट्स दिस लिविंग आर स्ट्रेन ऑफ बैक्टीरिया कैन एक्वायर इट उसको ले सकता है बाहर से वो अंदर ले लेगा और अगर उसमें कुछ विरुलेंस फैक्टर है जो आर के अंदर चला जाएगा तब ये आर जाके विरुलेंट बन जाएगा राइट दैट्स व्हाट वी आर ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट व्हाई वी यूज प्रोटीन आरएनए एंड डीएनए वी वांट टू रूल आउट कि बिटवीन प्रोटीन डीएनए एंड आरएनए व्हाट इज एक्चुअली द फैक्टर इज टेकन और अप टेकन बाय द आर स्ट्रेन टू कन्वर्ट फ्रॉम नॉन विरुलेंट फॉर्म टू विरुलेंट फॉर्म नॉन विरुलेंट से विरुलेंट फॉर्म में जाने के लिए प्रोटीन है या डीएनए है या आरएनए है जो कि इंपॉर्टेंट है जो कि बाहर से एक आर स्ट्रेन ले रहा है और एडेप्ट कर रहा है ठीक है सो फॉर दैट रीजन दे कंडक्टेड दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड व्हाट दे फाउंड आउट इज दैट अगेन द रिजल्ट सो द एक्सट्रैक्ट वेट द प्रोटीन इज प्रेजेंट व्हाट वी सी इज दैट प्रोटीन इज देयर सो इट विल डिस्ट्रॉय द प्रोटीन not the dna and rna right so dna and rna is present along with the r strain and successfully killing the bacteria uh, killing the mice sorry host ko ye maar diya next is rna is rna is destroyed dna and protein is present that is also killing the mice and lastly we have dna is that will destroy the dna RNA and protein is kept unharmed, the, the mice survived. 
mice survived now here we get our data mice is killed in both the occasions when protein is not there when rna is not there right if there is no protein the mice is still killed if there is no protein in the extract but the mice is still killed that means protein is not responsible for virulence when there is no rna mice is also getting killed that means rna is not also playing any role in the virulence but if there is no dna if there is no dna due to the presence of dnas the mice is not killed the mice survives right so that is the proof that the dna is the key component which adds up to the virulence factor isse kya pata chalta hai protein nahi hai to jo hai wo mice ko maar nahi pa raha hai rna nahi hai tab bhi protein nahi hai to maar pa raha hai rna nahi hai tab maar pa raha hai magar jab bhi dna nahi hai wo maar nahi pa raha hai iska matlab hai ki r to khud nahi maar sakta r kab maar sakta hai jab usko kuch madad mile तो प्रोटीन नहीं है तब भी मार पा रहा है आरएनए नहीं है तब भी मार पा रहा है डीएनए नहीं है तब मार नहीं पा रहा है इसका मतलब यह है कि डीएनए रहना चाहिए तभी जाके आर स्ट्रेन को विरुलेंस फैक्टर मिलता है तभी जाके आर स्ट्रेन विरुलेंस बन विरुलेंट बन सकता है राइट सो दैट इज वट इज सजेस्टिंग बाय दिस रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट इज सजेस्टेड बाय दिस रिजल्ट एंड द सजेशन इज द डीएनए एड अप to the virulence of the r strain of bacteria so the r strain and if you just give the virulent dna factor the fragment of the dna with the virulent factor in it the r strain will be converted from the non virulent form to a virulent form and it will successfully kill mice that was the final proof stating that the process of transformation that is transferring a fragment of macromolecule from one bacteria to the other bacteria of the same generation is carried out by the dna fragments not by the protein fragments not by the rna fragments isse ye clear ho jata hai ki protein ya fir rna एनवायरमेंट में जो है उससे एडेप्टेशन उसको इंटरनलाइजेशन और एम्बेडिंग करने से विरुलेंस चेंज नहीं होता है चेंज कब होता है जब कोई डीएनए फ्रैगमेंट बाहर आता है एनवायरमेंट में और उस डीएनए फ्रैगमेंट को इंटरनलाइज किया जाता है और इंटरनलाइज करने के बाद वो बैक्टीरिया विरुलेंस को शो करता है ठीक है तो डीएनए ही एक ऐसा कॉम्पोनेंट है जो एक बैक्टीरिया से अलग और एक बैक्टीरिया में ट्रांसफर होता है वाया ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन नेकेड डीएनए फ्रैगमेंट होकर ट्रांसफॉर्म होता है सो द नेकेड डीएनए इन द फ्रैगमेंट्स गेट्स ट्रांसफॉर्म फ्रॉम वन बैक्टीरिया टू द अदर बैक्टीरिया ऑफ द सेम जेनरेशन ऑफ द सेम जेनरेशन फ्रॉम वन बैक्टीरिया टू द अदर बैक्टीरिया एंड दैट इज नोन एज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन्वॉल्व डीएनए इट डज नॉट इन्वॉल्व प्रोटीन डज नॉट इन्वॉल्व आर which is clearly stated by the avery mcleod and mccart experiment extending the idea of griffith's experiment hopefully you get this clear idea of this experiment if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more videos like that in future and we are looking at the experiment series where we talk about this griffith's experiment avery mcleod mccart experiment and then we have hirsch chase experiment that proved that the dna is the genetic material okay this is a series of events so these two videos are already done griffith's experiment is already done avery mcleod mccart is done now and then we'll also talk about the harshay chase experiment in the next lecture see you there bye